Yo guys, what is going on? Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a HDRI of this. It's gonna be pretty quick, pretty easy, and all we're gonna really need is light sources. As you can see, if I open this up, we've got what, like three lights? There, there, and there. So this is not the best scene to use to make a HDRI because it's such low light but the principles are exactly the same. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're going to go over to, it, change this from EV to cycles. And you can see that it's now become really, really grainy, which is okay. We're just gonna have to up the, the render quality. So I'm going to put up to a thousand. Obviously you don't have to, you can put it to whatever you want. Then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go over to the camera, go over to this little filming thing, and we need to change the type to autographic. Then we need to take this depth field off if you have it enabled, and as you can see we have our sphere with everything there so our scene it's really grainy but that's that's no big deal obviously the higher quality you run it at the the less grainy it will become then all you need to do is you need to go back over to this little printer icon you need to change this from this to the HDR then you're gonna need to render this out so go render render image then once this is finished rendering you need to make sure that you save it now we're going to be back with a new scene so I'm just going to open up a new scene after you've rendered it obviously now we're just going to go shift A, add in a plane and go S10. Then we're going to go shift A, add in a UV sphere, go G, Z and move up. And G, Z, make sure that you know it's just above ground. Then we're going to go over to this camera, change this from EV two cycles I'm gonna to want to look at it like so now we're gonna go add in this HDRI we just made so we're gonna go over to the world where the color is we're gonna go environmental textures and the whole screen's gonna go pink don't worry if it hasn't that's because you might still be on this setting so make sure that you're over at the viewport shading. And while we're there, we'll just make sure that this is sh shaded smooth. Then it's gonna introduce you with this. We're gonna wanna open this and find where we put our HDRI. And the HDRI is actually here. It's just because the lighting on it is really dark. So we got the bluey tin, still got the purpley pink tint so that you can see the HDRI it's worked. Now if you don't want to see this big globe that you know this sphere that we brought in that's fine we can hide that quite easily just going over to the ray visibility and hitting camera. Now we still have our HDRI but it's just not actual visible to the camera so guys i hope that helped if it did hit a thumbs up if it didn't hit a dislike guys and i'll see you in the next one